we lost our son in one way, and I'm sure some of the mothers up there have lost theirs the other way. First, attend the mother of FAMU drum major Robert Champion talks about the three guilty verdicts handed down earlier tonight in the hazing death of her son. That jury deliberated for more than two hours. Good evening, I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Brett Conley. It marks the end of the legal saga after Champion's death more than three years ago in Orlando. The defendants were all found guilty of manslaughter and hazing, resulting in death. West News' Greg Fox has reaction from both sides. Two, we the jury find the defendant guilty of hazing resulting in death as charged. They flinched and shook as the judge read the verdicts. Guilty of both manslaughter and felony hazing. The parents of Robert Champion Jr. stared at the three as Daryl Curnell, Aaron Golson, and Benjamin McNamee slowly took off their suits, ties, and dress shirts before being fingerprinted and taken to jail. Golson's family was in tears as his attorney handed them his clothes. A total of four men have now been convicted in the violent hazing of Champion while on a FAMU marching band bus in Orlando in 2011. His friends said he wanted to fit in. This has to stop. It is that, there's no other way to say it. Hazing has got to stop. And young people have got to understand that you can't hide behind what the group does. Craig Brown is Golson's attorney. There's only losers in this one. I mean, you know, for the Champion family, our clients, you know, these are young kids, you know. I'll never get my son back. Champion's parents, while pleased with the verdict, said their fight to end hazing is vital to let young people know they don't have to endure pain and suffering just to fit in with a group. At the end of the day, when someone loses their life, they're not there. My son was by himself. The jury instructions were quite, quite. McNamee's mother blamed the jury instructions, while Cornell's family declined comment on the verdict. Your reaction to the verdict? One of the defense attorneys told us tonight that the uh, jury instructions may in fact be grounds for an appeal. While they consider that, sentencing is set for June 26th. Live in Orlando, Greg Fox, Washington News. All right, Greg, thank you. I want to show you a look at a timeline from the FAMU hazing case. 26 year old drum major Robert Champion was killed after getting hazed by fellow band members on a bus outside an Orlando hotel back in November of 2011. Following the incident, 15 people were charged in the case, 11 of those took plea deals. This past October, a jury found the ringleader, Dante Martin, guilty of organizing the hazing that led to Champion's death. A judge sentenced him to six years in prison. Today, the last three suspects were convicted of hazing leading to a death and manslaughter. They will be sentenced in June.